This trimester, we will be using Microsoft Teams for group work. To find Teams, go to your student email and click on this waffle in the top left corner. If you don't have Office 365 on your computer or you need to reinstall it, go to the student computing page on the Griffith website and click into this Office 365 section for instructions. If you encounter any difficulties, you can chat with IT staff directly from this page. It's a great idea to download the Teams app and you can get it on your phone too. To make your own team, click on the Teams icon in the purple menu until you are on the page that has all of your teams. Then click on the Join or Create Team button at the top right of your screen. Click on Create Team and choose the other template. Give your team a name that will be recognisable. Then click Next. Now it is time to add members to your team. Just start typing a name and click to select when the right one comes up. Once you have everyone's name, click the Add button. Then use the drop down to make everyone a team owner. That way everyone has the same permissions within your team. Then click Close. Another way to get someone into the team space is to send them a link which you can find by clicking into the three dots next to the team name. When anyone outside the team clicks on this link, it will generate a request to join that you can approve. Once you have added them, make this person a team owner by clicking into the Members page in this Manage Team view. Now use this menu to create channels for your team. You might want to make a channel for meetings and another for research and project files. Within channels, you can add tabs for websites that are useful or for tools like Microsoft Planner, which you can use to assign tasks and project manage your assessment. Each channel has a Files tab where you can create and upload files. Any file you create in this team is automatically shared with the other members of the team. You can open it in the relevant desktop app and it will still save your changes to the original document. You can also see who else is editing as their initials will pop up here. So there's no need to email versions of your project doc around as the original with everyone's changes will live in that files tab. You can use the Teams calendar to set up a weekly recurring meeting in your meetings channel or just click on meet now. Invite your convener into a meeting by clicking on the people icon in your menu bar and typing in their name, even if they're not a member of your team.